Sometimes I feel like nervous and anxious many times when it comes to enjoying good and forbidding evil. Like I feel that people will think I'm weird or like I just I just get an anxious feeling that they will look at me weird and I feel like a little bit strange. So please advise Barakallahu Fika. Wassalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear friend, on earth we are here for the sole purpose of worshipping Allah Azza wa Jal, who says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created the jinn and the humans except to worship me. And part of the worshipping process is to be tested. So everything you face on earth is a test from Allah. Wealth, you're a lucky man. It's a test. Poverty, the poor thing. It's a test. Health is a test. Illness is a test. Safety is a test. Insecurity is a test. So everything you face on earth is a test. Part of the tests that we face and encounter is fulfilling our obligations and responsibilities to Islam and to others. So part of my test is to be kind and good to my wife and children. Part of my test is to enforce virtue, to enjoin virtue, and to forbid and prevent evil and vice. Now, during our tests, there is an enemy of ours lurking and waiting for the right moment to strike. The Prophet told us that he runs in our veins like blood does. And he would definitely not want us to execute whatever we commanded to do. So when you want to pray, you get this inner feeling that, oh, I'm lazy, it's too cold, it's too hot, it's too early, I feel sleepy. When you want to recite the Quran, you just close it because I can't concentrate. When you want to give in charity, it tells you your money would be less and you won't be able to buy this or to secure this, and we are in difficult times. Who's doing this? Shaitan. It's your enemy, Satan, the devil. Now, when it comes to a, a enjoining virtue, he always intimidates you. So you see something that is haram. You want to tell people that, Akhi, this is haram, if they're Muslims. And maybe their relatives, maybe their loved ones, maybe their total strangers. He tells you that, they will not like it. They will resent it. They will think of you as an extremist. They would label you as a terrorist. Maybe they'll call the cops against you. Maybe they will lie about it. So he intimidates you. So you back down and you don't, uh, 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 or you back off. You don't do anything. And this is from shaitan. Always estimate and weigh the pros and cons. You're not the religious police. So always put in mind that after you hear this motivational speak, speech, you don't go to the masjid and you meet 200 brothers and say, Akhi, uh, your beard is shaven, your trousers are below your ankles, uh, you look, you, s you smell like you're smoking. I saw your wife the other day, she wasn't wearing the hijab, you uh, invest in uh, haram stocks. You what is this? You keep on talking to people like this, they'll kick you out of the masjid. No, you have to be knowledgeable, wise, diplomatic. You know when to select the right time to address a particular issue, not every single issue in the whole world. Otherwise, this would help shaitan stop you from practicing and giving dawah. So how 
to do all of this, this requires a lecture, but in a nutshell, learn your religion. The more knowledge you have, the more knowledge of the way of the Prophet ﷺ in giving da'wah, the more knowledge you have how the companions used to behave, the tabi'een and, and the salaf, the more diplomatic you become, the more tolerant you become, and you would succeed in conveying the message in a very beautiful and articulate way that everybody accepts. Don't be intimidated. This is shaitan. But don't jump the gun. Just don't go and, and, and give da'wah and forbid evil and do this and do that and hit right, left, and center and end up losing the whole battle and the whole war. No, be diplomatic. Think of the consequences of your action. Is it the right time or should I delay a couple of weeks and then speak about it? Should I put it all on the table or should I select the priorities and know what to address and what to ignore temporarily for now and then address it later? Should it be directly face to face in front of others or one to one or should I write a message or an email? All of these come with knowledge, inshallah, Azza wa Jal and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. We